steps being taken up to enhance pension scheme ex gratia for journalist says IPR minister T H Biswajit Good evening welcome to Ice TV English news at 7 now the news in detail Minister of Information and Public Relations T H Biswajit has told the house that initiatives are being taken up to enhance pension scheme for journalists and ex gratia for journalists who died in unfortunate incidents the minister was replying to the start question raised by MLA of Kangabo constituency Suju Kumar the MLA raised questions if the arrangements could be made for welfare of journalists like other states in the country he mentioned that housing loans of up to 25 lakh rupees at 3% interest rate are provided to journalists in other states while education loan of 5000 rupees are also being provided till class 10 for children of journalists koi housing loans hai madhya pradesh da up to 25 lakhs pe housing loan pe government na loan pe ba or any type tor ga koi bank amaga government na type tor ga loan haina pi ni na moina singa kadau ba dum lairam ne sir masida kitang wa 8 8 pi bi bai wan ida sir koi ki macha sing na matriculation book tam da urisa da 5000 per month matriculation book the rupees 2500 per month post matriculation under orissa working journalist welfare masigumba kaino amasu akoi masigumba mato bi ba ya Responding to the question of MLA Suju Kumar Minister Biswajit stated that the step is being taken up to increase the current 6000 rupees pension for journalists to 10000 rupees while family pension of 2000 rupees to 5000 rupees he added that the initiative is being taken up to enhance ex gratia of 2 lakh rupees to 5 lakh rupees Biswajit said that the steps for the welfare of the journalists have been hindered on account of some obstacles ꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁꞁ
MLA of Oinam constituency Radha Kishor distributed the second installment of MLA Local Area Development Fund, 50 lakh rupees to 13 beneficiaries at his residence. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Radha Kishor stated that if the Local Area Development Fund of 2 crore rupees sanctioned for every constituency in a year is directly handed over to the people to initiate works, there will be development in the state. He assured that safe drinking water will be provided to every household of the constituency within the year. The MLA also intimated that a water supply scheme of 20 crore rupees has also been taken up to provide water to every household in the state. A discussion program of all political parties was held at Imphal West DC office complex with an aim to effectively abide by the election code of conduct framed by the Election Commission of India regarding the upcoming Lok Sabha election. Imphal West ADC and Gojendro and SDOs attended the discussion program. The meeting discussed on various agendas including effective compliance with the election code of conduct for a free and fair election and not to violate the code of conduct released by the commission. A team of all Manipur Working Journalist Union led by President Brojendro Ningomba extended financial assistance to editor of Impact TV, Raj Nongthombam, who is currently undergoing treatment at paying ward of RIMS. The team also inquired about his health and wished him a speedy recovery to be able to render his service more actively to the people as a journalist. The 15-day news reporting certificate course, which kicked off on February 18 at CI College, Bishnupur, concluded at the conference hall of the college today. Over 30 students took part in the course organized by the State Institute of Journalism, DIPR. Principal of CI College, Dr. M. Mangi Singh, convener of the course and head of mathematics department, Dr. K. Tambra Dhaja and coordinator of the course, Sanatombi Wankhaimayum, among others, attended the closing event. Speaking on the occasion, Principal M. Mangi Singh stated that the course has provided a professional line to the students and appealed to DIPR to continue conducting such course. A two-day international conference on Manipuri Muslim past, present and future kicked off at the Sangai Hall of Hotel Imphal today. Delegates from Bangladesh, UK, Tripura and Assam also took part in the conference. Titular King of Manipur, Laisemba Sanajawa, Vice Chancellor of DM University, H. Dilip, ex Director of Centre for Manipur Studies, MU, Professor N. Joy Kumar, and President of All Manipur Muslim Maiti Pangal Welfare Association, AMM. PWA were the men guests at the inaugural event of the conference organized by AMMPWA. Speaking on the occasion, Secretary of the Association, Dr. Rahisuddin Sheikh, stated that the conference was being organized to develop the culture of scattered Manipuri Muslims. Mati Pangal Welfare Association Ampuana, a koi ning Mangzar Pamanga City Quirabani, Sumanta Udana Koi, Mate Silinao Sina Tobugumna, Mate Pangal Gisu, a koi e Marie Singh, so in a dark river singer see, Pau Podun Raga, Koi Punsa Laga, Koi Wakalo, Ama Kata Oina, Manglum, the Sansan Bayaba, Sakot, Tarangi Lampi, the Kangi Ama, the Kangi Amadu, Honamina Bayaba, Kanan and Eva, platform of Matira Matanda, this International Conference on Manipuri Muslims, Past, Present and Future, was in a platform of Oire. A team of Imphal West Commando conducted cordon and such operation in areas of Major Kul and Thangal Market early this morning. Ten persons were handed over to city police for further verification. Women market vendors stage sit in against the mess created by some vested interest at tribal market New Chekon by police politicizing it. Treasurer of Tribal Market Vendor Association, Rebecca Baiti said, the market is under the overall supervision of TD Director, who is also the chairman of the market. Names of five members were submitted as per the order issued by TD on October 26, 2017. However, order issued on March 14 last year, names of five, ten members from outside bodies were listed instead of the submitted names of the five members. She appealed to the authority concerned to bring out the truth for politicizing the issue by DD director and some vested interests. She cautioned of launching intense form of agitation if such kind of activities continue to be carried out at the market. DD director Jose Paulin, chairman of the tribal market, Mitzing Mahada, market Sijing Sinbana, Jose Paubada Amon Akai Singh, Topi Daba, Day 26-02-2019, the Sue, Dasbingi Maram Memorandum, Director Ngon Da Thagat Lee. 
Hosi Pabada Mahak Amasu, Management Committee Amatana Market Sijing Simbidere, Mahoy Dead Fall, April 2018, Notice Matung Inna, Tabang Amata Pang Topi Dabasi, TD Director Masagi Pam Tadok Piu, Natra Di Eko Ima Vendel Singna, Civil Organization, Kayana Akanba Hongzang Tang Singani. Now it's time for a very short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. It's gotta be said that you look good in red. You make my life so easy and effortless. Easy smiles, easy miles with you. You make my life so easy. Welcome back. Now moving on. District Election Office Imphal West has organized a wall painting competition on the fencing wall of Imphal West DC office as part of SVEEP campaign. Altogether, 15 competitors took part in the district level competition held on the theme Inclusive and Accessible Election. The College Week of DM College of Science kicked off from today and gold medals for the year 2018 were also distributed to the students. Former principal of the college, Dr. N. Nila G. Tomba Sharma and principal Dr. Ilangbam Jadu attended the inauguration program held at the auditorium of DM College. During the function, floral tributes were offered to the founder of the college, Maharani Dhanamanjuri. Altogether, 31 gold medals were presented to the students. Capping, lamp lighting and oath-taking ceremony of fourth batch GNM of Lairik Institute of Nursing, Sangai Pro was held at the institute today. Joint Director of Medical Directorate Lamfel, Aich Babichan, Director of RK Sanatombi Vidyalaya, Pangai T. Asha, Nursing Superintendent of Genems, P. Landhoni Devi and Principal of the Institute K. Saroda were the main guests at the event. In the ongoing National Masters Game 2019 in Dehradun, Tule of Manipur defeated Uttar Pradesh Alok Bhatnaga 6-1-6-4 in the 50-year above men's single category. The National Masters Game organized by Masters Game Federation of India kicked off on February 24. While in the 50-year doubles category, Tule and Alok Bhatnaga clinched gold by defeating Yashpal Arora and Sanjay Kumar of Uttar Pradesh 7-5-6-0. Now the national news. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman met Wing Commander Avinandan Vadhaman in a hospital in Delhi a day after the Indian Air Force pilot returned to India after being held captive in Pakistan for two days. The Defence Minister is said to have told the IAF pilot that the entire nation was proud of his courage and determination. The two met at a hospital where the Wing Commander had been taken last night for a medical checkup after his arrival in India. Officials said that Abhinandan Vathaman explained to the Defence Minister the details of his nearly 60-hour captivity in Pakistan. Earlier today, Wing Commander Avinandan Vathaman also met IAF Chief B.S. Dhanova and explained his detention in Pakistan. The Wing Commander is expected to stay at Air Force officers' mess. Officers also told that the extensive medical tests which Vathaman has to undergo are a part of the cooling down process and are likely to continue till Sunday. The IAF pilot is presently at the Air Force Central Medical Establishment, AFCME, which is a specialized medical evaluation center for air crew of all three services, Army, Navy and Air Force. Pakistan military intelligence and inter-services intelligence agents may be planning to poison the ration of security forces deployed in Jammu and Kashmir, intelligence sources have claimed. As per an intel note issued by the Criminal Investigation Department of the Jammu and Kashmir government, security agencies in the valley have been alerted of chatter regarding a possible plan of the Pakistan military intelligence and ISI agents. In the letter accessed by a media firm, the JNK government has said that in view of the threat, necessary security measures must be taken to ensure the security of the Russian deposits of the camps, especially in the state. It also stated that Russian procured for the use of security forces across India will be subjected to frequent checks to rule out any untoward incident or attempt. Intelligence agencies had earlier issued a warning that Pakistan-backed terrorist outfit 
JCE Muhammad is planning to carry out more Pulwama-like attacks in the near future. Meanwhile, an ID blast took place in trial today in which one civilian has been injured. As per reports, a blast took place around 3 a.m. in Almlar area of trial, creating panic in the neighborhood while investigation in the matter is underway. It is being said that the ID was planted to target the patrol vehicles of the security forces. And now, before we close the headline once again. Steps being taken up to enhance pension scheme, ex Gracia for journalist, says IPR Minister D. Iswiji. That's all we have for today. Thank